Someday I'm going I've heard a few secrets in my day. Terrible or amazing or seedy things that have happened to people. Someday. But recently, as a friend stuttered and blushed her way towards a confession, I realized sometimes the biggest secret women keep is what they really want to do with their lives. Somewhere past the it's really pretty stupid, she said. I have no business even trying. Go ahead. It's totally outrageous, she said. But I have this idea for a pajama line. Stuff you can wear in front of friends or in-laws and not be self-conscious about what's showing where. She said she hadn't even told her husband. He'd probably laugh. Pass the smiles that crack like frozen Be wary who you tell. Early stage investors are rare. <laughs> not everyone has an imagination fluid enough to take in your idea. These are dangerous people and should be avoided. I'm gonna get there. Starting things, relationships or nonprofits, screenplays or marathons, takes a certain willing suspension of disbelief. This suspension is hard to maintain, but its perpetuation is job one. I've written two books and I can tell you that writing one word at a time when there are 60,000 words to go requires a state of flat out dissociation. You need to blow up a nice big bubble and find a way to live in it long enough to forget the world of reason and probability, the world that is staring through the filmy edge of your bubble, barely obscured, mouthing the words, who do you think you are anyway? I know myself and I am not afraid. Who do you think you are? Aren't we all secretly aware that there are things we'd like to try and might actually be able to do if we weren't so damn embarrassed to be seen trying. When I'm holding back, shrugging and playing dumb, leaving the world to smarter or more qualified people, I sometimes hear my mother in my head saying what she said to me a thousand times growing up, oh honey, who's looking at you? <laughs> The next line was something like, if you want to wear leg warmers, wear leg warmers. <laughs> that self-consciousness that kicks in around kindergarten and holds us hostage until we're finally old enough to wear purple with a red hat, as the famous poem reads, impacts more than just our fashion choices. It snuffs out dreams. The thing is, there is one person looking at you. You. And she wants you to take a class, or start drafting a business plan, or spend 20 minutes researching your idea online, or tracking down one good friend, a believer, and telling her your pretty stupid idea that you have no business trying. Pick up the phone right now. I dare you.